Have you guys ever wondered what type of milling cutter to use in your operations? My name is Justin Wilkes. I'm a technical sales engineer with Kyocera Precision Tools. Today, we're gonna to talk about the differences between 45 degree, 90 degree, and high feed milling cutters, and when you should apply each in your operations. So along with the three basic cutter types, those being 90 degree, 45 degree, and high feed mills, I'd like to go over the 90 degree cutter systems first. There's a lot of features and benefits to 90 degree cutters that I like to discuss. One of those being is the versatility. 90 degree cutters can be used for general purpose facing, square shoulder milling, slotting, ramping, hole enlargement, finishing, roughing, they can be applied in many different types of machine tools from heavy duty to light duty. Square shoulder cutters can be applied in manual machines, in CNC machines, small machines, larger machines, heavy duty, light duty, they're extremely versatile. The cutter that I have in my hands right now is what's called a tangential cutter. These typically have four cutting edges per insert. They offer a very robust seating surface. They're very strong, they leave a very nice sidewall finish, they leave a very nice face finish, and this one in particular, our new MA90, does have the capability of ramping, so you can enter into a pocket, enlarge a hole, or slot without an entry hole. So next up, we're gonna talk about 45 degree face mills. 45 degree face mills are the most common lead angle available for general purpose face milling, but there are others, and we'd like to cover those in a separate topic in the future. Some of the advantages of a typical face mill, like this 45 degree face mill that we're working with today, are increased economy due to each insert having multiple cutting edges, a smooth workpiece finish because of the wiper flat width on each insert. They typically can be fed at higher feed rates than 90 degree cutters, uh, further increases economy over a 90 degree cutter, but can't be fed quite as hard as a high feed mill. So they strike an ideal balance in between metal removal rate and economy while still providing a great surface finish. While this 45 degree cutter is going to be our best option out of these three for general purpose facing operations, it will not be the best option for reaching close to fixtures or areas where a 90 degree cutter or a high feed mill would make more sense. Let's talk about high feed mills next. High feed mills are incredibly useful roughing tools not necessarily used for finishing operations, and they're really only useful in CNC machines. High feed mills operate on the principle of a chip thinning process, which is to say that each insert has a lead angle that can be fed extremely fast into the workpiece, which thins out the chip, allowing for a much higher feed rate. A few of the applications where you might want to apply a high feed mill in your roughing operations are 3D surfacing, slotting, ramping, pocketing, cavity machining, plunging, and helical interpolation. So moving on to the benefits of a high feed mill. Why use a high feed mill versus a square shoulder cutter if they can accomplish some of the same goals? Well, a high feed mill just does it a lot faster and a lot more rapidly to increase your metal removal rate and decrease your cycle time. But beyond that, they're incredibly useful because of that chip thinning, chip thinning angle on the insert. Uh, what that means is it directs the cutting forces instead of 90 degrees into the cutter, which can cause deflection at long overhangs. That lead angle of the inserts deflects your cutting forces up into the cutter and the head casting of the spindle, which is to say that you can get a very long overhang out of a high feed mill for cavity roughing, long reach slotting, reaching around fixtures, and things like that. So if high feed mills are so great, when would you not want to use one versus a square shoulder cutter? Well, here's one good reason. If your machine tool lacks the feed rate capability that is needed by a high feed mill to show value, then perhaps a square shoulder cutter would be a better option for your need. So in conclusion, 90 degree cutters are best for reaching close to fixturing and general versatility, and 45 degree face mills are going to offer the maximum amount of economy, the smoothest finish. High feed mills are gonna be awesome for general purpose roughing, maximum metal removal rates, and minimizing chatter at long overhangs. So just a reminder everyone, this is just a brief overview of the topics that we've covered today. If you have any more specific questions, please feel free to reach out to your sales representative using the provided link. 
like, comment, and subscribe for more chips and tips. And again, my name is Justin Wilkes with Kyocera Precision Tools. Keep those chips flying.